Art Prince. Today we are going to draw a snow bunny. Yeah, it's going to be really cute. We hope you're going to follow along. You need your drawing supplies. You ready to start? Yes. Let's first start by drawing our bunny's nose. We're going to draw a letter V in the middle of our paper. And I'm drawing it really small. And then let's draw the top of the nose. And we can also color in that triangle shape. Now let's draw the mouth. I'm going to draw a curved W underneath the nose. And let's also draw the eyes. I'm going to draw them kind of big. I'm going to draw a circle about that size and another one the same size on the other side. And then we can also draw the highlight or reflection in our bunny's eyes to make them look shiny. So draw a little oval and then we can color in the big circle, but leave that little circle white. Now remember, if we ever go too fast and you need extra time, remember to pause the video. Also, if you want to add extra details to your snow bunny, you can pause the video. All right, now let's draw the top of our bunny's head. We're going to start here on the left side and right next to the eye, and we're going to draw an upside down U. We're going to go up for the forehead and then back down next to the other eye. <laughs> and then over here on the left, let's draw a little curve that comes out. Or we could do the same thing on the right side. We're going to draw a little fur on the cheeks. We're going to turn this into a sideways W or the letter M. And let's do the same thing, but the other direction on the other side. Okay, it doesn't really look like a bunny. What should we draw next? Ears. Yeah, really tall ears. <laughs> let's draw a curve that's going to come right out of the top of the head. And we're going to come up and to the left. And we could do the same thing on the right side. Now it looks like a bug, look like antennas. And then we're going to curve back down to finish the ear on each side. And we could also draw the inside of our bunny ears. I'm going to start here. We'll draw a curve down that kind of matches. And then you can curve out a little bit. So there's a little S curve in it. Yeah, and then the same thing on the other side, but going the other direction. Those are really cute ears. Thank you. Okay, now let's draw the scarf to keep our bunny warm. We're going to draw a curve right underneath the chin that connects the two cheeks together. Let's draw a really big scarf. I'm going to start here and curve out and then come in just a little bit on each side. Out and then back in. Oh, it's looking really cozy. And we're going to draw another curve that comes out further and then kind of starts coming back in again. So we can curve out and back in. That makes it look like there's a little wrinkle in the scarf. So cozy. And then down here, let's connect with a curve. And look, this curve matches the one right underneath the chin. It kind of looks the same. We did it. Now let's draw the arms. We could start right here. We're going to draw, it looks like a backwards J. Now let's draw the letter J, or it uh, kind of looks like an upside down candy cane. And we'll draw the other arm on the right side. Now let's draw the body. We're going to start here, and we're going to curve down, around, and back up and connect to the other hand. Now let's draw the feet. We're going to draw a little curve that comes out, curves around, and then connect back to the body. And then we'll repeat that same curve except going the other direction on the other side. Cute! Let's add two little toe lines or finger lines on each hand. And then we can also add those two little curves for the Pose. Let's also add the end of the scarf sticking out to the side. Right here, we'll draw a little curve coming out. And then we can draw a, another line coming back in. And then we're going to draw this same curve. We're going to match it down here and connect back into our bunny. And we can also draw little lines at the end of the scarf all the way down to the other side. 
What's our bunny missing? A tail. Yeah, a big fluffy tail. We can draw it coming out to the side right here and then back in. It's kind of on the side of the body, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we did it, Mrs. Hubs. We finished drawing our snow bunny. But we still need to color. Yeah, this part will fast forward, but at the end, you can pause the video and take time to color your snow bunnies too. You ready to fast forward? Yes. Yeah. That we finished coloring and drawing our snow bunnies. I love how they look all colored in. Yeah, and we only use two colors, blue for the little shadow and red for the scarf. Yeah, and you can color your drawings differently. You could add designs to the scarf. You could even add more things to the background. I love your little snowflakes. Thank you. They look perfect. We hope you had fun drawing a snow bunny. I'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.